Hey man, what's good YouTube? What's good my brothers and sisters? I hope y'all having an amazing day. It's Sosa here and I'm back with another banger. In today's video, I got y'all with a guard academy. And you don't have to be advanced. You don't have to be a beginner. This is for everybody. Even I needed this guard academy when I came back to the game a month ago. I ain't gonna lie, this 2K is really different compared to other 2Ks. And I've been playing it completely wrong because I've been trying to play like it's old 2K. But today I'm gonna get into what y'all gotta do to play this game the right way. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm making this video for y'all. So everybody that was confused just like me won't be confused no more. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over basically everything you need to know and how to play this game. Wait, I think I just said I was gonna show the build in this video. I'm not showing the build in this video because this is my brand new build and I'm gonna make a whole different video on it so I can explain everything about it and why I made it the way I made it. But I personally think this is the best PG build you can make in 2K24. And if you wanna see that video, all you gotta do is get this video to 300 likes. I know y'all can do that in 24 hours and I can post video tomorrow. It's just about you being lazy or not. All you gotta do is scroll off this video, go down, like, come back to the video. So I'm gonna give you five things to do it. It's free, it don't cost nothing and you help everybody else out in the comments. What are you still doing here? Why are you not down and liking it yet? Go like the damn playing. I ain't forcing nobody to like it. I'm just saying it takes one second and it's free and it helps me out way more than you can imagine. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a like in the comment and don't forget to sub and hit that bell so you'll notified every time I upload. I'm finna be back and I'm finna be way more consistent than I've been the last couple of months. But without anything else, let's get straight into the video because you know I don't like to keep y'all holding. So the first thing we're gonna be going over is gonna be the six. So we're gonna go into the animations. Pass style, I don't use a pass style. I think it's faster than no, than normal. So if I was you, I, I probably wouldn't use a pass style either. Unless you got like a crazy high pass. Like if you got 80 plus, probably use Trey Young or Steph Curry. But my build only has 77. So I just use no pass style. For my dribble style, I use Kyrie Irving. It's the fastest dribble style for a small guard. For my signature size up, I use Darren Fox. You can also use Steve Francis, but I use Darren Fox. I think it's easier to combo up with. And I just like it better. For my regular breakdown combo, it's Darius Garland, it don't really matter. For my aggressive breakdown combo though, that's John Morant. For my escape moves, I use Kemba Walker, I think it's the fastest to combo up with. You can also use Trey Young, it's easier to, to speed boost with Trey Young and to L2 cancel with it. And you can also use Jimmy Butler. But personally right now, I think Kemba Walker is the best. Combo moves is Stephen Curry, they don't really matter to be honest, I don't use them like that. The crossover is John Wall, this one is very important, you're gonna need that. Behind the back, Jamal Murray is the best behind the back in the game. You can also use Tyrese Halliburton, but Jamal Murray is a little bit more explosive, so I'll be using that. For the spin is Jamal Murray. Don't really matter. I don't use my spin like that. For my hesitation, I use Chris Paul because it's the fastest one, if you ask me. Like, I don't know if it's the fastest one, but it's just the one that looks the best when you dribble, if you ask me. For the step back, I use Stephen Curry. But I can't lie, John Wall is a faster drag back. Like you see that move right there. It is faster than the Stephen Curry one, but there's a move in the Stephen Curry one that I be using a lot. But if you watch this video, I'm gonna show you the move in a second. And you don't use that move, put on John Wall. John Wall is better. And that don't really matter. For my motion style, I use Darren Fox. But I see a lot of people using Elite. I see a lot of people using uh was it Alex Caruso? And I see people use what's the last one? Kyrie Irving. So that's up to you. Like test them out. Personally, I think Darren Fox is the fastest one. Alright, so next thing we over here is for my dribble pull up, I use Pro 2. It's the best one if you don't start at 3. If you start at 3, I think Trey Young is way better. I don't know to be honest. I'm not started 3 yet. But for my spin jump, I use Ellen Iverson. And for my hub jump, I use Davion Mitchell. These are the three best pull up, hub jumpers, and spin jumpers. These don't really matter. I use, I can show you my dunk packages in a second. Um, You come over here to my jump shot. You see right here, it's called Cash. I use Steph Curry, Oscar Robertson, Colin Sexton. And make sure you make your jump shot 3 for 4 speed. There's no reason for you to use 4 for 4 speed. It's, I promise you, you won't feel a difference. The only difference you're gonna feel is that your shot is way more consistent, even on fades. So make sure you use 3 for 4 speed on your jump shots. And Oscar Robertson 80%, Connor Sexton 20. This is the best jump shot if you're not started 3 yet. Started 3, you get this Patty Mills base. I can't lie, it's, it, it looks so chicken. I can't wait to get it, but right now I don't have it, so I'm using Stephen Curry. Now, let me show you my dunks. I do have a, a high driving dunk on this build. I have a 90 driving dunk. So you might not be able to use all of these, but I use a little hangs of two. Um, then we got 
windmill baseline reverse then we got quick drops off two then we got basic two handers off two we got double clutch side clutches off two uh, let me see anything else uh, pro contact dunks then we got hangs off one uh, i mean a little hangs off one not hangs off one then is there anything over here that we use i think that's about it now that i'm looking at it i got the contact dunks on regular standing dunks because it's the only one the only ones i can get over here on the leus i just slap everybody on that's my dunk package now this game is really delayed right so you want to make sure if you go over to your settings i think it's in here um hold on let me find it motion blur make sure you turn your motion blur off there's no you should not have motion blur on it just makes your game more laggy all right let's go take a look at the controller settings don't use your vibration don't use the trigger effect neither shot timing put it on shots and layups free throw timing i use i use user timing shot time visual cue i use push people be using release i feel like push is the best one i don't think you should use set point or jump i think they are way too inconsistent or way too fast push and release are the perfect ones if you ask me I don't use my jump shot meter and I don't think you should use it neither because you get a boost. I think you get up to a 20% boost when you take off your jump shot meter. So your green window is way bigger. My layer meter, I keep it off. Free throw meter is also off. Let me see. All these don't really matter because I don't use them. Pro stick function, make sure this is on default. And pro stick orientation, make sure it's on absolute. And then you come down here. Defensive assist use zero and box assist strength use 50 because it's just gonna help you like not be get backdoored on your PG. For the boost and Gatorade, the two most important ones is the Gatorade Thirst Quest. This is the one that gives you an extra stamina bar so you have way more time to dribble without getting tired and use jump shot boost. But if you have like more VC, uh, you, you like to buy like other type of boost, like you don't mind using your VC on it. I recommend buying ball handling and passing boost because it's just gonna let you get ripped less. Um, let me see. For the takeover, make sure you put on sponge. It's faster than accelerator, so don't put on accelerator. Sponge is better because even when your teammate does something, you get some takeover too. Make sure you always have your controller plugged in. Make sure it's wired and plugged in. It's just gonna take out delay. You can dribble faster and shoot more consistent with it. So now that we're in here, let me explain to y'all what I meant about playing the game wrong. How I play the game is. I just spam dribble, stand still, stand still, spam, you feel me, like, go around the screens. But the game speed is not that fast this year, you feel me? It's hard to score like that every time. It's not like other 2K, so you can force a 3 every play. So, actually, you, you gotta play a little weird. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you gotta play weird. So, let's say you go around the screen. This is why I made a, a 90 driving dunk PG. Because I'm getting tired of losing to people playing weird when I'm trying to play, like, get threes and all that. So, now I just go into the paint and I dunk on everybody. Because the meter is so big and it's so easy to time. So, when this build drops, trust me, you're going to you're gonna want to get this build. Because I can just dunk on it. I, I already got some rare contacts in stage, I can't lie. So, this year, instead of being a guard that overkills, that it's got to be open three times before you can shoot it. This year, just be a dribble to score a PG. The moment you see a shot, shoot it. And I'm struggling with this. I can't lie. I'm struggling with this because this is not how I play the game. But I'm try trying to like get used to it. I'm trying to learn my peaks. I'm trying to learn how to get an easy bucket every time because that's just how you win games this year. But yeah, there's a couple moves that you do need to learn though. First move is going to be this crap right here. I'm not gonna be doing a dribble tutorial this video because I already have like five dribble tutorials up on my YouTube. So just go look for them because all these moves are gonna be explained in that. Yeah, so you gotta use that crab and make sure you know how to L2 cancel as well. See like that right there. And L2 cancel is not only speed boost, so you, you don't gotta do this one every time. You can also like, you know what I'm saying, behind the back like that. You can also do it with the snatch back like this one right here you can also shoot with the l2 so let's say you do a, a speed boost tap l2 and shoot so go if you don't know how to l2 cancel go in there and master it because you're just gonna have to need it now the next move is gonna be the y'all call it the left right cancel whatever i call it the instant left right 
because I've been doing this since season one. If y'all remember the drums of Taurus, I have showed y'all how to do these. But apparently now it's blowing up and people are first now finding out about it. But yeah, this is probably one of the best moves in the game because you can just keep spamming it and it's so unpredictable. And you can do this out of every move. Like, let's say I'll go boom. It's just a cancel animation, you feel me? So that means I can key spam it like this. See what I'm saying? Like, you can also, let's say I do it behind the back. Then you can run one step to the side, do another one. Let's say like your L2 cancel, right? So let's say you're dribbling, a little L2 cancel, then you come over to the other side again. And also, like, if you do that, you see it right there? How quick that instant left right is? If you do a misdirection behind the back and do that, you can get, like, this crazy speed. Because you look like you're going to go to that side and you just go to the other side. You can also crap people with it, like, go up like that. Boom. And no, this is not only the escape move you can do this with. You can do this with every move. So you can do it with escape. Snatch back. Oh, messed up, messed up. Behind the back. You know I mean? like it's just about you just spamming them. Let's go over here, quick hazy over to the other side. So yeah, get the L2 cancel and the instant left right cancel in your bag. And this next move that you need in your bag, oh hold on. It's like it looks like this. I, don't, I actually don't know what to call it, but it just look good like when you combo up because you can quickly change direction with it as well. You can also keep running to the side like that. You can also, let's say the defense is playing side to you. Then you can split the defense like that. You feel me? Like, it's just a, it's a quick little unexpected speed boost. And it just looks good, like, when you're comboing up. You see, it just look glitchy. Now the next move, I'm going to put y'all on gonna be this one it's a cheesy move but it's a free dunk every time let's say you run to the side you just teleport into the paint it's so op and if you don't know like i actually don't know if i explain how to do that but you literally just flick your right stick that angle up to the other side that you're running to so i'm running to the left i'm flicking up to the right while holding turbo it's gonna bring you in front of the center and the lock 90 percent of the time We have the jaw spin. It's not needed, but it's, it's, it's kind of broken because let's say you stand right here, right? You hit him with a jaw spin, and you just rim run in like that. So it's, it's a nice move to have in your bag. Like if you're clamped up, you need to get a quick rim run. And we all know this move right here, right? It's just a little hissy. There's something called, I think, oh, I don't remember what it's called. There's something about a BP. BP Hesse maybe, I don't know, but it's basically where you, instead of getting this animation, oh wait, instead of getting the other animation, you get this animation, because apparently it's faster, see that right there, you do, instead of doing the animation like you usually do, you flick it to the, you flick it like diagonal, not that, I wouldn't say diagonal down, but you flick it more to the side, and just give you a faster animation oh yeah make sure you out of every move you do right let's say you do one of these moves normally you're gonna get this speed boost do the hesi after because you're gonna get the fast speed boost same with like let's say i do it behind the back right here instead of getting that slow speed boost out of it so like it's that one i can get the fast one like this so yeah i think that's it for the dribbling uh, like the moves that you need and how to explain how to play the game don't don't be going for threes every play play cheesy use your rim runs go into the paint make the center jump and take the easy lay feel me like that's how you gotta play this year you can't you can't just play and force threes every play and if you can good for you but i recommend not doing it just get a quick bucket be a dribble to score pg but yeah if y'all need that new dribble tutorial get this video to 500 likes and i'll post a new dribble tutorial for y'all where I get like in details with a controller cam, all that.
But yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure you drop a like and a comment and don't forget to sub. And I appreciate you for making it to the end. Oh yeah, 500 likes for the dribble tutorial, 300 likes I'll drop the build ASAP. I know y'all can get it in 24 hours, so let's get this build video out tomorrow. Alright, that's it for today's video. Source out.